Hey guys, it's Kenchi and I'm here with Casper and the lovely Heidi and Moose. And we're going to answer some questions um, that we've received from non-furries to furries. Okay, so I'm going to be asking the questions guys. First one is, what are the different types of fursuits and what are the differences between them? Uh, there are so many different types of fursuits. So you have your partials, which is essentially what we're wearing now, which just includes head, paws, it can include like obviously your tails and your feet paws too. Uh, you have full suits which are obviously your full fur costumes with your feet and your hands and your tails and your heads so that it looks a lot better than just a partial but some people can only wear clothes with their heads on because it gets too much, it's so warm. And then you also have a quad suits which is a one person four legged Firstly, are extremely heavy to wear and they just look, in my opinion, they look really weird. <laughs> but uh, some people do enjoy those ones. How did you get into the fandom and how did you meet each other? Oh, well, I kind of slipped into the fandom randomly. Um, I knew some furries and I never really understood furries or why they existed. I actually thought they were a bit weird and uh, here I am. Um, and somebody told me about the Birmingham Fur Meets, which is like my local meetup. And this is where I met Casper. And it was like, we just made friends and we're buddies now. And yeah, mm -hmm. it's just kind of, it's just kind of like there's been a friendship bloomed out of it. Exploded. <laughs> Exploded with friendship. So yeah, it's, it's, I think it's, it's easy to make friends at places like that. Yeah. Was it like a quick jump into being a furry or did you slowly e ease into it over time? Well, my first kind of furry, proper furry encounter, one of those really crappy mascot costumes. And then I sort of made a fur character, which was just a basic like lynx thing. And um, yeah, I just, I got into it that and then I kind of wanted a fursuit and then it kind of escalated and then I went to meet so it went quite quick for me but some people obviously like to go slowly but I pretty much jumped into it straight away. Tench, you're next. Yay. Uh, your question is, as part of the community, how do you feel about the mainstream views of furries and the furry community? Oh, I don't think media helps the view that furries get. Um, there's been a lot of negative energy towards the furry community due to mainstream TV and bad documentation of them. Um, I'm not going to say that every group of furries is perfect or nice. <laughs> um, there are some nasty furries just as there are normal nasty people. Um, generally, I think a lot of the public think that all furries do is have sex in fursuits. Yeah, a lot of people do, That's but it's not, not true. It's not a thing. I mean, people do it, but like a very minute amount of people do it. The rest of us are just happy people who want to dress like animals and have fun. For Casper, Rocky, why do you think people become furries? Well, most of us are socially awkward. <laughs> true. <laughs> most of us are, but um, I mean, I became a furry because it brings out my confidence. Um, most of the stuff that I do in suit, I cannot do outside of suit. In suit, I can I can just roll around on the floor and be an absolute nut job. Whereas out of suit, I'd be like, what the hell am I doing? Like, this is just weird. Um, it's it's difficult to say, but um, yeah, I think it's different for quite a lot of people. But for me, it's just confidence and it, it just helps a lot. Could you tell us the best convention meetups or notable hangout spots for furries? Ooh, okay. Um, I'm from the UK in England, so locally to me, um, I go to the Brumfair, like Birmingham Fur Meets. Um, there's Manchester Meets, there's London Meets. I'm pretty sure there's a meet in pretty much every city. If you were to look up your <laughs> if you were to look up your local meet, then in the city that you live in, you probably find one. Um, another great spot for furries 
is confuzzled. I've only been to one and oh my gosh, it was amazing. So if you want to spend a whole freaking week with, move, <laughs> a whole freaking week with furries, having parties, having fun, and all that kind of stuff, then that's, that's an ideal place for you. A question for both of you guys. Ooh. Which of your personas took the longest to design so far? <laughs> oh. What about you, Casper? Well, Casper originally started out as a Halloween headless adoptable because she wasn't actually supposed to be my character at all. And I thought, well, I'll put a head on it and then I'll try and sell it as a pre-made. And then when I put the head on it, I decided I kind of wanted to keep the character. She was one of the longest it took me to make because of I did not really know what I was going for. And then when I made her, I was like, this is amazing. And then Leo, who I've got, was an adoptable. So he kind of didn't take that, in, in fact, any effort, to be honest. But I kind of want to up upgrade him a bit because he seems a bit plain on the back. But other than that, Casper was the longest one that took to make. As far as Tenshi's concerned, I knew from the get-go that I wanted a dog because dogs are life. And my favourite dog is a German Shepherd, so I kind of went with that. But the fact that it's purple and blue wasn't always a thing. It used to be pink and blue, and then I decided against that and it was more of a teal and blue. I just kind of wanted a contrast and I ended up going with purple and blue. They contrast quite well. They were like my favourite colours. And yeah, I just kind of went with the contrast in that. That was kind of my get-go with that. It didn't take too long, but there was definitely some updates and changes to her growing up. <laughs> her puberty. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, fairy puberty. Oh, no. oh. Okay, again, both of you, who was the most fun to design? I've only really had to design one character, but, well I haven't, I've had a few, but Casper's the best, she's just so fun to draw, and she's just amazing, she's just different, so she's not your generic fox or dog, no offence. <laughs> I do Thanks take offence to that. <laughs> You've got two dogs sat next to you, Casper. <laughs> she's this, she's not like, oh it's, it's, it's a blue dog, or it's like, this dog, and she just, it's just different and she, it was fun and she's so fun to just be whatever and draw whatever, it's just nice. Casper's adorable. I've got two main characters that I use the most, um, Tenchi being one of them and being my main persona. I do find that when I designed her and to draw her and things were quite fun. Um, I think her design's quite cute. I've had a lot of compliments of other people saying that she's quite adorable. And then my other character, Kyoki, she was very fun to design because she's crazy. Just a little bit scary. A little just, bit scary. Just a little bit. She's I kind mean... of staring at me like, a bit. Okay. Oh. Casper, so, have you ever tried creating the most horrific thing imaginable? Oh God. Is that you? <laughs> well, I wouldn't <laughs> say so. I mean, I'm pretty nasty, but. I've probably created worse, but the first thing that I created was the lynx wolf thing. I mean, it was horrendous, and then the fur suit, my god, the fur suit was horrendous. It was horrible. It is called Nightmare Fuel for a reason. It's a picture I'll have to, here. Uh, yeah, picture here, definitely, I think. So, Tench, mm -hmm. is your persona similar to who you are? Um, yes. She is very much me. Um, I like to think that Tenchi is a more confident, outgoing version of me. Um, in real life I am a bit of an anxious mess, so I like to think that Tenchi is more bubbly and outgoing. And when I suit as her, I don't know, I just, I just kind of feel a bit more confident. So I, th I think the fact that that character is meant for that purpose, it just kind of gels. Hey, you've got a funny question for you here, Casper. Not sure how you're going to feel oh, about God. it. Um, well, how do you go to the toilet? Like, in a full suit? <laughs> oh, you literally just have to take off the bodysuit, or, or if you just have, like we have, you just take off paws and head. It, it's kind of common sense, you literally just unzip your second skin. 
and just drop your pants and go to toilet. It's, it's not really <laughs> complicated. Don't pee through the fur, it's expensive. Do Please it. do not. <laughs> I know you want to stay in character, but no. no. Tenshi, do you have any future plans? Do I? Yes, do I? You. <laughs> do you? I do. Um, I am getting a new Tenchi suit. Um, I'm hopefully going to make it full suit. But um, yeah, I'm getting a full update. And the fans are changing on Tench. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be different. Woo. Stay tuned. <laughs> But How yeah, and, do and can fuzzle next year. Heck yeah. Heck it yeah. Can fuzzle with my paws. Ooh. <laughs> it's so weird. The furries, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's a good point actually. Casper, what is it all about? For me, it's the making friends and their social side and just having fun and escaping. There are a lot of people in the fandom that have a lot to do with either at home or, or just themselves. Um, a lot of people don't have the confidence to go out in public, but having a fursuit is being something different. So they like to dress up and it's just, you just don't feel yourself and you can be and do whatever you want without anybody having to judge you and you don't care because as far as you're concerned, if they can't see your face, you can't see them, and you can just be whoever you want to be. And the furry fandom is so accepting, and it's just amazing. It's it's just like no other community ever. It's just awesome. Amen to that. It is a wonderful community. Hello. Tetra. Hello. Um, people would like to know why furries call each other names that aren't their real names. Um, generally, it's I think it just depends on how you get to know someone. And that's not just in the furry fandom. If someone called Robert was introduced to you as Bob, you would always call them Bob, despite their name being Robert. So the fact that I know Casper's real name doesn't matter because I was introduced to Casper as Casper. So He's despite Casper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So despite knowing Casper and who she is as a human being, she's always just going to be Casper. So the fact that people call me Tenchi, and then some people call me by my real name, it's like, it doesn't really matter. So if you do hear nicknames, they, they're probably fur fags and you should avoid them at all costs. Please don't hurt us. Or don't steal, don't steal me. me. Don't steal my face. Yeah, no. that too. Or I'll steal your soul. So final question. Oh. Uh, now, Casper, this is directed at you, but oh. Tench, join in if you'd like to. Okay. Why do we do it? It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It literally is so much fun. People that sit there and judge us, just jealous, you know. I mean, look, we're just fabulous and cute and adorable. And then, that was so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was, I'm a third bag. <laughs> I was talking about myself. Oh, you are cringe. I am trash. But it is so much fun. And there's just charity, like, events we i mean when you go confizzle they always have a select charity or a couple of charities and you raise so much money i think we made the badger charity cry didn't yeah we, we actually made the badger charity cry like the poor woman was on stage when she received <laughs> the check and she just burst into she tears was like, i love you guys so like, it's, it's, it's heavily charity based as well yeah. and i just love seeing the smiles on people's faces whether it be taunting or not but <laughs> It's the, fun. The kids love it too. Yeah. When you go on fursuit walks at a meet and you interact with the public and you see these smiling children just wanting to hug you or get a picture with you and things like that, it just, it really makes it worthwhile. I think if I was like five or six, I'd be like, Mom, my fucking husky teddy has come alive. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I'd be like, that thing is mine. I must go and cuddle it. Yeah. Why? It's just... It's just fun. Like I, I can't explain it any better. It's just fun to do. I love it so much. I love the fun. I never want to leave. Never. <laughs> that was us doing a Q and A. Um, I just want to do a really quick shout out to Blushies on Facebook. I don't know if you noticed, but she's been sitting in the back, and I got an adorable Tenchi blush from Blushies on Facebook. Commission her. She's adorable. Look at this. Look, go commission them because they're amazing. I'm so happy with it. Thank you very much. 
Um, so thanks for watching. Thanks for you guys for joining me. You're welcome. And uh, I'll see you.